I know a lot of people want to start working using their cars. They want to start building that income uh, for themselves and working for themselves without having to go to a job um, where a boss is telling you what to do, where, where you don't feel happy. And I want to be sharing with you some of my experiences working for myself as an independent contractor and my experience with it. Um, and I'm also going to be discussing how hard is it to start and how good they pay and, and if you should consider it or not. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss a video every time I upload it. So my first experience as a courier well i remember that i was helping a friend with her deliveries uh for a medical company it was called mds i'm gonna put it right here so you can see uh, i'm not sure if they're online because my application process was through the phone but um i applied to mds um after working with my friend and seeing how she was working for herself and i was like oh you can do that until then i didn't even know that you was able to work for yourself as an independent contractor or for a independent contractor as a subcontractor so i was like oh my god this is interest so uh interesting so i remember she had vacation and i took over her routes for two or three days and then i was able to see how that worked and I was interested on it and I decided to apply. So how how the process was. So I called the number that she gave me um, and I told them that I was interested on working for them, for the, for the company um, because they are the, so this company has the contract with the laboratory that I was working or that I am currently working um they provide all the trainings and certifications that you need to start this job to start working with them so i am like a subcontractor because the contract is owned by mds i am just a subcontractor but this doesn't mean that you cannot have a contract with a company if you have your own llc if you have a business there are a lot of opportunities when you have your llc to get contracts with these laboratories or or medical related fields it doesn't have to be medical only it could be a, a lot of other stuff which i'm probably going to search more and research more so that i can put out a video about it in case you want to learn more on how to become your own boss and have your own contracts and hire people to work for you but in this case i was working i am working for mds um so i let me let me go back to what i was saying so i called them i applied the application process was very simple i went to a background check they do they do that i took a training which took me around two hours to complete because i really wanted to grasp all the information from the training so that i was ready for this because um in this particular uh contract we are dealing with um Heart, I never know how to pronounce this. It's nuclear medicine. So my training is kind of an intensive training because you're dealing with a lot of stuff, you know, it's dangerous. So I have to be aware of what I'm driving around in my car, etc. But yeah, so I apply, I took the training. It was like around two hours. I took the training, I passed the training i had all my documents ready for my vehicle i have a crv a honda crv and i find that uh, most of the contracting companies or the companies that are looking for people to work with them are really more into vans or suvs or bigger vehicles because um there's more space on the things that you can chip around um and yeah so i apply 
Um, so after that, uh, we arranged the location for pickup. So for me, my location for pickup is in Long Island. So I live in Flushing. It's not that far for, from me. It's like 20, 15 minutes. I do drive fast. So um, yeah, and it, it is early in the morning. I do wake up at 3 a.m. Actually, I wake up before that. And I, ha I have a set route. So this means that every day I get the same route. Every day I get certain hospitals, which I um, deliver these nuclear medicines every morning before the staff comes in so that when they come in, the staff are already ready for them right there and there. And at the beginning, I have to say it was really hard for me to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning to go drive because I hated driving. So this has been an experience. I hated driving. It was, it was, it was, it took me like around six months to really get it. And because the contract that this company have is long, I have been able to work there for a year already. Uh, the beginning it was hard, like I said, but little by little, I was getting accustomed, waking up at the time, etc. I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys probably work midnight nights or whatever it is, so it's hard. I know, I know it's very hard. So, yeah, when it comes to the payment, they do pay by miles, they pay your tolls if you are traveling, um, like. Or crossing the bridge and stuff like that they pay for the toll they give you a percentage for the gas and they pay per stop they they pay the stop so for example uh each for example let's say each stop is eight dollars six dollars five dollars it depends and they pay for the mileage that you spend to go to the stop and to go to the laboratory etc so they do pay for that they do not pay your repairments on your car or your oil change and, and, and all that so that's the kind of the downside you can always uh, have that uh, on your tax return you get a 1099 and um, it's hard to wake up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. in the morning I'm gonna say that um, it's not easy when you're working for yourself you are in charge of everything when it comes to sick days, vacation days. So it's something to think about if you are thinking on starting to run it this way. Um, you don't get paid sick days, so that's all on you. You don't get paid vacations, that's all on you. But I do have to say that my, um, my e weekly check um, could be around one thousand a hundred dollars, one one thousand two hundred dollars, depending on my routes. Now I did say that I have stable routes. However, sometimes the hospitals that I do every day they don't order or they cancel orders, etc. So I might be minimized on the payments I get, but not by much because these routes that I have are consistent. So. With this being said, my um, total monthly income from this job, only from this job, is around, so let's say 4,800 a month, depending. Um, this is without me cal calculating what I spent on gas, what I spent on repairments and stuff like that. And I roughly spent around $240, I'll say in gas so let's say that my actual you know check clean after that is like a thousand dollars now remember that at the end of the year you do pay your own taxes you're doing 10 1099s depending if you do have to pay taxes or whatever but yes you do have to pay taxes so something to consider um I have to mention here that this is not my primary job. I do have other streams of incomes, so it, I don't mind doing this job. I just wanted to share with you my experience working here, and from there, you take it from there, right? So you do whatever you think.
is right. So yes, working as a medical carrier could have ups and downs. Um, another thing is that you decide if you do the run or not. So if you're not available certain weeks, as long as you let them know. Hey, okay. next month I'm not gonna be in. Make sure you have coverage. You let them know if you have coverage great if you have somebody that go went to the through the training etc great because they can cover you while you out etc but remember that's all on you you're not going to be paid get paid for vacations and stuff like that so it's good to consider that so i the company like i said that i work for the the contracting company that i work for with mds um and yeah um for me, it has been a great opportunity to discover something else. Um, and yeah, just make the best out of whatever you can do. I never say no to opportunities. And even though this job has ups and downs, I look at it for in the positive ways because even though I'm working so early in the morning, um, I take this time to listen to videos while I'm driving to get to my stops. I listen to podcasts. I have been able to finish a lot of online courses that I just needed to listen to them. Um, and since I learn more by listening than by actually seeing or reading, um, this has helped me a lot to develop that, 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 that I was missing when it comes to finishing stuff because I didn't have time. Now I do have the time um, and I kill two birds in one shot. So yeah, so the company I mentioned is MDS. Uh, if you in the future want to apply for a company like this, they do have different locations where you can apply. They have in Long Island, they have locations in Long Island and they have locations I think in Jersey, New Jersey. So it depends really where you live so they always have opportunities you are not guaranteed to make the same amount of money that i mentioned in this video because the routes are different some people do a part-time some people do a full-time i do a full-time so for everybody's going to be different i don't want to tell you that you're going to make a thousand dollars and then you're like it's out and you told me you make a thousand dollars and i'm not making no it depends so this is something that you have to talk to them you know ask them for the routes what's the average pay for the route according to whatever they already know etc so do your own diligence before you take in consideration these jobs the same way this job is out there there's a lot of other jobs related to medical carriers or any type of carrier there are a lot of apps which i'm planning to make a video about in the next few weeks so stay tuned actually for the next video stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna give you some apps and websites that you can apply to start that side hustle if you already have a full-time job to make an ex extra income. So for me, it's great to have three or $4,000 extra to my other regular jobs because you know I have a clear understanding of what I want in my life, what I'm trying to build, and I know it takes time and I know it takes effort. So it depends on you if you want to put the effort to you know make something great nothing in life comes easily so my only advice to you is just try it you will never know what could have been if you don't try so that's my biggest advice i hope this information that i'm giving you right here is helpful and i hope you guys will take advantage of all the stuff that we have available in new york in the united states to make money all right so if you haven't watched my other previous video i suggest you to go and see i'm always talking about um making money becoming somebody making an extra income etc and i'm gonna link some videos right here that you can watch later don't forget to like subscribe and comment um any questions that you have i'll be more than happy to answer them and yeah thank you watch this video next don't forget